Hey, what's up, guys? Courtney with Simply Vegas here to uh, share with you another one of Lennar's newest communities. Uh, today, I'm in the southwest off of Arville and Silverado Ranch to share with you the estates at uh, Silverado Valley. Uh, the home we're going to be taking a look at today is called the William. It's 3,776 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half baths. It also includes a den, uh, a retreat slash uh, exercise room, and a covered patio. And we all know that uh, Lennar's home of the EI, which means everything's included, which basically means a lot of the things that you would normally pay for as options are available in the base price of the home. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is turn around and uh, share with you the exterior of the home, kind of give you an overview of what's included, and then we'll head inside. So if you guys are ready, let's go. All right, guys, so this is the exterior of the William. Good looking home, single story. You got your three car garage here. I just wanted to talk to you quickly about uh, what some of the things that are included in this home uh, with the base price of the home. So you're gonna have, of course, your front yard uh, landscaping here with drip system uh, included in the base price of the home. You're also going to have your paver driveway and walkways, which I've actually seen a lot of builders do lately. Um, that's, it used to be a, an upgrade, but it's becoming more and more commonplace, not just for for Lennar, but a lot of the builders around town. Uh, you're gonna have exterior uh, electrical outlets as well in the front of the home as well as the back of the home. And we'll talk about the back of the home as we uh, go through the, you know, the inside of the house. We'll, we'll finish in the backyard and you can see the covered patio and things of that nature. That's pretty much it for the front. Uh, let's head inside and see what they've got in there for us. Hang tight. All right, let's check out the William. Oh, I like it already. Lots of room. Where should we start? Let's start, well, let's go this way. So, the first thing we're gonna come in contact with is going to be the powder bath. Hang on. Get some light in here, let's turn off the fan. All right, so you've got a powder bath here. This is to service your guests, of course. Nice, nice, nice. And then we've got your laundry space. And so, 10 foot ceilings in this home, just so that you guys know. Um, I think the cabinets in here, I'm gonna get some more light here. I think the cabinets in here are 42 inch, like they are in the kitchen. So you've got the cabinets and you've got the sink that are included in the base price. So all this in this room. Normally, if you go to any other builder, this would basically be an empty room and you'd put your, be able to put your wash and dryer here. But Lennar actually covers all that stuff in the base price of the home, which I think is pretty phenomenal. Uh, now this, area actually leads into the primary bedroom as well. That's the primary bedroom closet, but we'll come back to that. Another cool feature that I've seen on a few builder, the few builders have been doing, I think is pretty ingenious. So right from your wash and dryer, right into the closet, but we'll come back there. So you've got here a coat closet. All right. And for the most part, when you're looking at a Lennar home or looking at a Lennar model, the only things that are really upgraded most of the time, let me qualify that so you don't call me out on it later, is the flooring. So flooring and backsplashes and the bathroom tile, that kind of stuff is typically upgraded. So this is gonna be your formal dining room. It's a very big space. Not everybody likes a formal, but some people still do. So it's useful. And I'll tell you one thing, it definitely gives this room a lot of a lot of depth. It's big, it really feels big in here. And it's not that big a house. It's only 37, what is it, 3771? Um, so here is your great room space, okay? Very big, you can see by the size of this sec sectional, it's not a small room. Let's head over here for your kitchen. Now let's talk about the kitchen. So lots to include here. So your 
countertops here are granite with a four inch splash as a standard. You do have GE monogram uh, stainless steel appliances, which are, you know, top of the line, good stuff, not cheap at all. You'll have a hood, you'll have your uh, stove, you'll have your dishwasher, and you'll also have, I don't believe the built-in comes, I think it's just the standard fridge, and you've got your, uh, your microwave as well over here on the wall, down here. Okay, as a standard, the cabinets are 42 inch uh, maple countertop, or excuse me, cabinets, all right? And then you do have this walk-in pantry for storage, I think it hooks around here. Oh, it goes quite a ways actually, really big pantry. And on the Lennar homes, uh, they also pre-wire each uh, bedroom with a ceiling fan and with uh, cable. So that's stuff that will all, all, already be sitting there uh, ready for you when you decide to hang your ceiling fans and so forth. The fan themselves are not included, but the pre-wire is there. Here's gonna be your nook space. Okay. It's really not a nook, it's more like a dining room, honestly, right? So you've got a dining space and then you've got that formal space over there. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. So you've got a slider here as well, and you've got a slider on the other wall, which, you know, when you're entertaining, you've got this patio here, so you open both of these up. It gives you that nice, cool indoor-outdoor feel that everybody likes. Um, really nice, nice layout. I'm still thinking about this two dining room situation. I don't know, I think that's a little kooky, honestly. Call me crazy. Let's go check out the uh, primary bedroom. I think this is gonna be a linen closet. Yeah, a very deep linen closet. Plenty of space for storage. And then here's the entry to your primary bedroom. Very nice, really big. King size bed. And you've got a door that leads out to the backyard, which is always a good feature. And then let's go see about this closet laundry situation we've got going on. So we're gonna hit the bathroom here first off. Oh, I'm sorry, I take that back. They've got this little exercise retreat room attached to the primary bedroom, which is Pretty cool. I don't know if I want my gym right by the uh, by where I sleep though, if I actually use the gym itself, you know what I mean? But you could very easily make this your home office. You could also make this uh, like a meditation room. It's just extra space. This is probably where I'll end up sleeping when I've done wrong, <laughs> right? My fellow men understand that one. As we head into the primary bath, this is gonna be your, your water closet. And then you've got a standalone tub, included by the way, and a separate huge shower with a really big bench seat in here. Check this out, guys. Look at that. Great job. I like it, I like it, I like it. So, you've got your dual vanities over here for you and your partner. And then you've also got a makeup counter as well. Pretty awesome. And I think this is gonna be your walk-in closet, but I think there's two. So I think this is intended for one person to share here. Well, not share, but one person gets the small closet. The other party gets the big closet. And you guys can Rochambeau for who that person is, right? So here's the main primary closet. This is what I need right here, because I have lots of clothes. This is a big space, and they've got a little shoe rack going on over here in the corner. And then there's that door that led to the laundry room. In fact, we can cut through here, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Pretty awesome. Let's go check out these secondary bedrooms, which are around the corner here. 
See what we've got. So a couple things. So you've got bedroom four here first that you're gonna run into. Very nice. Walk-in closet. Oh, sorry, walk-in closet's over here. But, surprise, surprise, this bedroom is also en suite. So you've got its own, it's got its own bathroom as well with the tub shower combo. These kids have it too good, I'm telling you. I wish I had all that when I was a kid. And here's your den. Very could easily be your, your study space or homeschool space or home office tax deduction and then here we have bedroom number three very nice okay no walk-in closet here but can't have everything right and this one's attached to a Jack and Jill so you've got your tub shower combo here water closet and then you've got your dual vanities. Which leads us into the fourth and final bedroom. So good job on the layout on this one too. I mean, you've got these two bedrooms that are together here, but the other bedrooms have a lot of privacy. So these two are together, then you've got the primary bedroom uh, top left and then you've got the guest suite if you will top right let's go check out backyard and see what the patio looks like because it does come with a covered patio also along with the basic price hang tight all right guys so this is the rear of the William and this is a big lot really big lot I like it I like it I like it so obviously all this landscaping is extra. None of the rear landscaping is included, but what is included is this space here uh, where your patio cover is, or really it's kind of a built-in piece of the home, but it's a little shaded area. You'll have pavers here. You can put a table and chairs there to kind of hang out with your folks, uh, your family and your friends and so forth, a great little entertainment space. But this other extra stuff here in the outside is something that you'd have to plan on on yourself. But this is a nice size backyard. Uh, they've got a stub out over here. If you want to do an outdoor kitchen, they've got a gas stub right there that's included as well in the base price of the home. So that's about it for the William, you guys. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Uh, if you have interest in this home, please reach out and get you some more information. We can go check them out in person. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Take care.